Esperanza, Ulia, the sorry mess I had made of life, the years to come even now beginning to weigh down, to crush, they lost concreteness, diffused into formless melancholy. Papa, and when will the long table be set? I don't know yet. My friend is not very specific, but I believe this Esperanza wants to be next one. Was I being cheated by life? Love, I seem to have missed it. Why would men so mismanage their lives? Greed, the desire to crowd into a moment all the enjoyment it will hold, or gauging the future, forcing the hand of time or of fate. Papa, what do you think happened? I suppose long engaged people are like that. One now. Cool tomorrow. They're oftener, They're oftener cooler than one. The bare fact that an engagement has been allowed to prolong itself argues a certain lucidity of temperament or of affection on the part of either or both. That face you were speaking of is natural enough for a beginning. Besides, that, as I see it, was Alfredo's last read with his keeping you. A last spurt of hot blood. Six weeks ago, that house meant nothing to me, save that it was the Martinez house. Six weeks ago, Julia Salas meant nothing to me. I did not even know her name. But now... There was this young woman who smiled at me the very moment our eyes met. I was locked in time. My heart skipped a beat. Every time, I would call her Miss Del Valle. I was puzzled that she should smile with evident delight every time I addressed her thus. Miss Del Valle. Oh, then who is she? It was a great embarrassment. I felt like I should explain. I'm sorry for what happened earlier. I thought you were the judge's sister. That's why I called you Miss Del Valle. That is nothing. Each time I was about to correct you, but then I remembered a similar experience I had once before. Oh. A man named Manalang. I kept on calling him Manalo. After the 10 time or so, he rose from his seat and told me, pardon me, miss, but my name is Manalang. Manalang. Not Manalo. You know, I never forgave him. <laughs> the best thing to do under circumstances, I have found out, is to pretend not to hear and to let the other person find out his mistake without any help. As you did this time, still, you look amused every time I... I remembered Mr. Manalang. On Sunday mornings after Mass, my father and I would visit the Del Valles, and I would talk to Julia every time of some happy things.
Esperanza. Oh, Alfredo, I haven't seen you lately. You haven't been waiting for me outside the church as often as you used to. Do you go home right after Mass? Uh, yes, I go home after Mass, but usually I go to the church as well as we come home. Okay, I'll go home. Goodbye. That half lie I told her, there's something wrong. I felt like I was giving Julia something which I was not free to give. I am not prone to indulge in unprovoked jealousies. If a man were married, why, of course, he loved his wife. If he were engaged, he could not possibly love another woman. But it was easy to forget up there, so easy and poignantly sweet. Up here, I find something. Amusement? No, youth, it's spirit. Are you so old? And heart's desire. Down there, the road is too broad, too trodden by feet, too barren of mystery. That is so brief. Not in some, not in you. You have known me a few weeks, so the mystery. I could study you all my life and still not find it. That long? I should like to. Just before the Holy Week, my father invited the judge and his family to spend Sunday afternoon at a house on the beach. I hope you're enjoying this. Yes, very much. It reminds me so much of home, except that we do not have such a lovely beach. The afternoon has seemed short, hasn't it? This, I think, is the last time we can visit. Did you say this is the last time? Why did you say this is the last time? Do I seem especially industrious to you? If you are, you never look it. Not perspiring or breathless, as a busy man ought to be. I wish that were true. A man is happier if he is, as you say, calm and pleasant. Like a carabao in a mud pool. Who? I? Oh no! <laughs> you said I am calm and pleasant. That is what I think. I should like to see your hometown. But there is nothing to see. Little crooked streets, bunut roofs with ferns growing on them. Sometimes even squashes. <laughs> Nothing, but there is you. Oh, me? But I am here. I'll not go there, of course. Not until you're there. Will you come? Oh, but you will find it dull. There isn't even one American there. 
Well, Americans are rather essential to my entertainment. <laughs> Live on Calyanus, a little street with lots of trees. Can I find that? If you don't ask for Miss Zalvalia, that is. I'll inquire about... What? The house of the prettiest girl in town. But that is where you will lose your way. That is not quite sincere. It is. I thought you would not say such things. Foolish word. I did not mean that quite. Are you withdrawing the compliment? Reinforcing it, maybe. You know, something is pretty when it pleases the eye. It is more than that when. If it saddens? Exactly. It must be ugly. Okay. No, of course you were right. say this is the last time because I am going home I received a letter from my mother and father yesterday they want me to spend the holy week there at our house didn't I come to say goodbye oh you don't need to no but I want to but there is no time home seems so far away from here this is almost like another life I know this is elsewhere Yet strange enough, I cannot get rid of the old things. Old things? Oh, old things. Mistakes. Encumbrances. Old baggage. Goodbye. The voice of the church bells kept ringing, for this was Holy Thursday. A double row of lights emerged from the church and then coiled down the length of the street. The bells rang the close of the procession. The crowd dispersed, and towards the end, Salazar, I wish to congratulate you. For what? For your approaching wedding. I should have offered my congratulations long before. But you know, we mere visitors are slow about getting the news. Are weddings interesting to you? When they are of friends, yes. Would you come if I asked you? When is it going to be? May. <laughs> May. May is the month of happiness. They say, would you come? Why not? No reason. I'm just asking. If you will ask me. Then I ask you. Then I will be there. Tita, did you ever have to choose between something you wanted to do and something you had to do? No. I thought maybe you had had that experience. Then you could understand a man who was in such a situation. You are fortunate. Is, is this man sure of what he should do? I don't know, Julita. Perhaps not. But there is a point where a thing escapes us and rushes downward of its own weight, dragging us along. Then it is foolish to ask their one will or will not because it no longer depends on him. But then why? Why? Oh, what do I know? That is his problem after all. Doesn't it 
interest you? Why must it? I have to go, Mr. Salazar. Goodbye. Has the final word been said? It had. Yet a feeble flutter of hope trembled in my mind. She was one of those women who have the gift of uniformly acceptable appearance. A woman, distinctly not average. Alfredo, I couldn't believe Calixta. Well, what of it? She's not married to him. Besides, she should have thought of us. Nana practically brought her up, who never thought she would turn out bad. But do you approve? Of what? What she did! <laughs> no. Well? All I say is that it is not necessarily wicked. Why shouldn't it be? You, you talk like an immoral man. I never thought that your ideas were like that. My ideas? The only test I wish to apply to conduct is the test of fairness. Am I injuring anybody? No? Then I am justified in my conscience. I am right. <laughs> Living with a man to whom she is not married, is that it? It may be wrong, but then again it may not. She has injured us. She was ungrateful. <laughs> the trouble with you, Esperanza, is that you are... Why do you get angry? I don't understand you at all. I think I know now why you have been indifferent to me lately. I am not blind or deaf. I see and hear what perhaps some are trying to keep from me. Why don't you speak out frankly and tell me the truth? You did not think of me or what other people would say. Yes, one tries to be fair according to his lights, but it is hard. One would like to be fair to oneself first, but that is too easy. One does not dare. What do you mean? Whatever my shortcomings are, and no doubt there are many in your eyes, I have never gone out of my way, of my place, to find another man. Esperanza, if you suppose I... If you're tired of me, why didn't you just tell me? After years of hard work, I'm now a lawyer. I needed to find Brigida, the important woman to the defense of one of the cases that I hold in a place near Julia's home. Still, I could not forget her. I was not unhappy in my marriage. I felt no rebellion, no more struggles, no more stirring up of emotions that got me nowhere. Is the abogado there? Abogado! What abogado? So, did he receive my letter? Yes, but he couldn't write because we heard that Tandang Binjai was in San Antonio. So we went there to find him. Do you know where San Antonio is? San Antonio was up in the hills. Good man, the Presidente. The town was peaceful, and yet, the thought of Julia crept into me. How would life seem if I had married her? And that unforgettable afternoon in the beach, did I mean anything to her? some business. Well, won't you come up? I could not take my eyes off her. She had not changed much, yet something had gone. What had she lost? Did she still care? So, that was all over. All these years, I had been seeing the light of dead stars, long extinguished, yet seemingly still in their appointed place.
places in the heavens. Kaira, tingin ka. 